99, 106, 72, 56, 81. What do these numbers mean? Well, not the winning lotto numbers, I can tell you that much. No, these numbers represent the amount of revives that it took me to go through all five paths of the abyss. 414 revives in total. That's not a number to be bragging about. Other people have gone through the abyss on fewer number of revives. In my defense, you know, I also didn't have Aegon for the first half of it, but even if I did, other players, they're just better fighters than me. They can get through the abyss on fewer number of revives. The point is, it took me personally 414 revives to go through the abyss. And if I spent 40 units on each one of those revives, it would have cost me 16,560 units. And that's a lot of units. And sure, yeah, I, if we look at the top right corner of the screen, I have a good number of units. And I could have done just that. I could have just blasted right through, just spent all my units on those revives. And uh, well, then I could have just spent my life grinding them back in the arena. And if you listen to all the people out there that are like, oh yeah, the only way this guy's able to be free to play is he just spends 24 hours a day playing this game. And listen, I do spend a, a good amount of time in this game, but if you listen to people like that, you're not going to go very far in this game. Those people, I don't want to say they suck at the game entirely, but they suck at the resource management part of the game, all right? And that's what I'm here to tell you about, how to better manage your resources and how you can easily farm up 40 plus revives. It'll take a little bit of time, but you can get 40 plus revives. And I'm not talking about running repeatedly over and over and over again through certain quests because you can do that the revives it's not a guarantee to show up but there are certain quests where they're more likely to show up than others and you can you can find videos on that stuff but it's all very time consuming and i don't do that because i just don't have the time for it so how do you get 40 plus revives then without actually spending all that time grinding your life away in this game well you got to be smart about it Okay, so first thing we need to understand is that if you look at your inventory, you can hold 15 of these level one revives. You can get these level one revives just by doing the solo events. If we look at uh, the level up event right here uh, and you look at the rewards, the third milestone is a revive. And the third milestone is always a revive in the 22 hour events. You know, I recommend if you're able to, to push beyond and, and get the 25 units as well, uh, I mean, if you're really able to, sure, get all the milestones. But the third milestone is significantly fewer points than the others. And it's really not too hard to consistently get these revives every single day. Um, especially plan if you're, if you're planning on doing a big event soon, like a, a Path of the Abyss, right? I'm not saying you need to uh, get these revives every single day just just always and forever but if you're if you want to save some units leading up to an abyss run what you want to do is make sure that you're paying attention to the solo events and make sure that you're getting the revives now the way it's worked in the past there's, there's four in total and the way it's worked in the past is that everyone kind of agrees yeah level up is easy hero use is pretty easy we have arena wins which not everybody plays the arena but if you're watching this video and you're trying to save some units well, you're probably at least a mild arena grinder. You don't have to grind a ton to get the third milestone, but uh, you do have to grind a little bit of arena. And then the fourth one has always been the worst, which is event quest completion. And today, it's actually gotten a lot better if you're a Cavalier level player. So let's take a look at it. Taking a look at the rewards, the milestones, third milestone, it takes about 12,000 points. The next, the next milestone up is a huge jump to over 22,000. That's, let's forget about that one. I, I, I rarely ever target the, uh, the fourth milestone. Um, it, technically, it's possible to get, but you're going to be popping some refills more than likely. Uh, but anyway, what you can do is very easily get this third milestone without much effort. All you have to do is save your, your deeper quests. Um, and like I said, this is much easier to do for Cavalier level players than anything, because it's about 12,000 units in total. If we look at how to get the points, well, you get a ton of points for the later Cavalier quests. I mean, look at the final two, 6,000 and 7,000 points. All you do is go through each of those quests one time, and you've got your, your, your 12,000 plus points to, uh, to get that milestone. So the revive, very easy to get, 
you don't have to uh, be crazy with your energy management or anything like that. Just save those quests for each time event quest completion pops up, and that's when you knock them out. So, very easy to do that. It's it's a lot harder if you're only uncollected. Still doable, but yeah, you might not uh, be able to get that every single time. But uh, if you're leading up to something like the Abyss, you should be a Cavalier level player, and you should be able to, to do something like this. Okay, so, easy. The first 15 revives, all you have to do is, uh, you know, the, the, the solo events, right? The 22-hour solo events. Okay, but where, where are we going to get the other 25-plus revives for this 40-plus promise that I'm making? Well, like I said, you just got to be smart about it. You have to use what the game allows you to use to, to expand that 15 in your inventory. I mean, you could buy the Summoner Sigil to expand it a little bit, and that's not a bad value, but um, if you don't want to spend money on that, well, you can use the free uh, expansion that the game gives you. You have seven days to claim all of the rewards in this game. Sometimes more, actually, but for the solo events, you have seven days to claim it. Okay. After you claim the milestones, they go into your item overflow if you are already capped out on that item. And here, they will last for two weeks. So combining the one week of the reward overflow and then the two weeks of the item overflow, that's three weeks. And if you're getting these revives every single day, that's 21 days of revives. So you're expanding your inventory uh, by 21. So 15 plus the now expanded 21, that's 36 revives that you can hold on your account just for knocking out that third milestone of the solo event each day. It's really not that bad to do. Some people will find this annoying. And for those people, I mean, I, I get it. You know, that's that's why uh, we're able to buy units in the first place. If you just want to buy the units to go through the content, hey, there's nothing wrong with that. All right, this is for everyone else who um, either does not want to spend the money or, or maybe they don't have the money to spend. And this is a free option and something, like I said, that is not time consuming. All you have to do is just not claim the reward. You're farming it by not doing something really easy um so that's 36 revives right there okay how are we going to get uh, above this 40 number like i said well the rest of it also comes down to not doing something let's take a look at the monthly event quest here and i'm going to pop in a quest in uncollected and if we start this quest you'll immediately notice a revive sitting right in front of us on this spot right here so i mean what do you do to collect this revive you walk on the path, right? No. No, 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 no. Don't walk on this path, man. Like, yeah, that's what you do when you want to claim the revive. But you don't want to claim the revive until you're ready to claim the revive. All right? So I just told you that these revives, they will last in the overflow for two weeks if you're already capped out, right? So you want to save this quest. Just, just move on. Do another quest. There's plenty of things to do in this game. Go, go do the uh, the next quest beyond this one. Save that revive until you're ready to claim it. Um, save it towards the end of the month. You know, you have to plan a little bit ahead of, of like when you're going to hop in and do that next Abyss Path. But we've got 20 days to do this quest. Um, that revive, that revive can sit there and it'll be fine. And if you do this enough, you'll start to realize, wow, you can actually save a, a lot of revives in these quests, right? Because, you know, it would make sense like, oh yeah, you pop in this quest and, oh wow, lucky me, the revive is on a, on a path that I didn't already complete. Well, let me go scoop that up real quick. Like I said, no, don't, don't do that. Just save it. Just leave it there. Um, this is another way to expand your inventory cap. This revive is as good as yours. No one else is coming along to take this revive. Kabam is not going to take this revive away from you or anything like that. Just leave it here. Go do other quests. You can easily stack up five plus revives just in the monthly event quest on various difficulties while knocking out the other paths first, while knocking out the other quests first. Because I mean, the revive will go away if you finish this quest. If you took a different path, it will go away. So just to be clear, I'm not telling you to, to, to take a different path in this quest. I'm telling you to get out of this quest and go do another one but you can easily stack up five plus uh revives just by doing that just by moving on to another quest um so save that stuff 
Um, that will easily take you above 40 just in itself. But I'm not done yet. We're going we're gonna to continue talking about this a little bit more. Of course, there are some free revives in the calendar. Uh, I feel like people don't really need to be told something like this. That's why I didn't include it in the, uh, the 40 plus claim. But just to show you, like, yeah, it still goes a step further. We're still getting some free revives this way where you're not having to do anything. All you're doing is logging in. Then there's also Marvel Insider. And this is not something that you can count on every single month. But you can, you can kind of plan ahead with some things like this and say, hey, this, this, this bundle's here. And the, these come out in the in-game mails, all right? I never just check Marvel Insider for the sake of checking it. Um, it's in the in-game mail. And when that Marvel Insider in-game message pops in, click on it, check and see if there's revives. Look, here's three level one revives right here. Sometimes they give five. There's been a case in the past where it was five team revives in these things. Sometimes there, there are no revives, but there's, there's three in this bundle right here. If we click on this other bundle, hey, look, here's, here's three more revives, and these are the level two revives. Awesome. So at this point, you know, we're, we're, we're basically like 50, we're like, like 50 revives, right? Um, still not done. This one's almost a bit of a joke, but of course there are the free four hour crystals. The reason I say it's a bit of a joke is because I don't actually pop these things open. <laughs> I'm saving them for future content. Um, trust me, there's a reason why I'm saving these things. But uh, of course, you can get revives out of these crystals. They're just, you know, not guaranteed. So I wanted to hit you guys with things that you're more guaranteed with first. Because the, the 22 hour soul events, those are absolutely guaranteed. Um, but of course, you can get some free revives out of these crystals. Uh, there's also times where the side quest for the month will have revives for the rewards. The, the, this month is not one of those months. We're getting hit with a bunch of ISO and, you know, some other things. But, uh, you know, just last month, we had these little coins for Jubilee's Arcade where you got, uh, it, was a tw it was basically the equivalent of a 25% revive. We've had other months where the same thing. So a few times throughout the year, some of the side quests, they will have free revives in them. Um, and you can you can use those as a way to just get through content. This, do, this doesn't have to be for the Abyss, by the way. I'm, I'm kind of using the Abyss as an example because it is the biggest thing currently in game to save revives for. But uh, I mean, leading up to the next act or the next chapter, excuse me, in Act Seven, could already be you know starting to to save for that. We know it's coming soon, or just whatever you're trying to do. Maybe you're trying to push for uncollected. Doesn't really matter. Um, there's also been compensation handed out from time to time. And this is not something that we can count on. So again, I'm just kind of including it here at the end of the guide. But basically when compensation is given out, you don't have to claim that stuff right away either. All right, so you have time this way. You don't have to let that stuff expire right away if, if you are uh, lucky enough to get some compensation. But even without all of these little additional, oh yeah, sometimes we get little things here and there. Again, you can easily get 40 plus revives just by doing the 22 hour solo event not claiming the the rewards right away and then stacking up the revives in in the quest and then just you know not doing these quests right away um this stuff it it seriously does add up like crazy just you know to push you easily beyond the 40 revive mark without ever having to spend a unit and without ever actually having to farm quests on repeat over and over and over because that is a terribly inefficient way um, to approach this game you you know some people will make the argument that it's uh more unit efficient than spending time in the arena uh where you know if you if you just wanted revives and there might be a case to be made there because yeah it does take time to, to get all the units from the arena no doubt about that but along with those units you're also getting a bunch of other things you're getting uh, all the shards and potentially champions and all the iso that comes from opening those things um everything that's that's included in in all of these rewards here you can you can get that stuff um and in addition what's not always so obvious here is that you're also getting points for the solo events and the solo events man they of course they're stacked with with goodies as well and they even just recently got buffed uh and now in these solo events you know, you're, we're getting things like, uh, uh, whoops, wrong button there. We're getting, we're getting things in, in the, even in the ranked rewards, like these, uh, Supreme solo crystals, 
that you know the more you're able to stay in an area like the arena even if even if it doesn't directly give you uh the, the revives there it's giving you the units that will contribute towards that and it's giving you uh, all kinds of other resources um points towards towards things like this where you're going to be getting unit values in other ways just by getting the boosts or you know getting sig stones to help sig up your champions that way you're getting more max sig crystals that way you're getting more crystals to pop open just in general so like i said uh, i i don't do the solo quest farming at all ever to get revives um, the only time I do that is to, you know, pop in there. And if a revive happens to be on the path, oh, cool. I'll pick that up and then I'll get out. And I'm not going to be running it over and over again. I think that's really inefficient. If you did play enough to get all of the milestones in the arena, get everything that you wanted out of the arena, and then still have that time uh, to farm those revives, then, hey, two thumbs up there. But uh, like I said, there's going to be very, very, very few people willing to spend that much time in game. Um, so I'm trying to give you guys the, the better ways without spending all that time. So uh, hopefully this guide will help you. Um, hopefully, you know, more people are able to, to get through the content without having to spend their entire lives just grinding away in this game. It's a fun game, man. I like playing it, but I definitely don't want to play as much as... As people like to uh, think, um, I like to be efficient with my time. And uh, yeah, just hopefully this helps you guys out with that. You can also combine strategies. And even if you don't mind spending a bit, you can still utilize some of the strategies in this video and then supplement the rest with some spending or, you know, take, take it for however you will, uh, you know, adapt it into your own way of approaching the game. But uh, that'll do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Take care.